Hello everyone, welcome to RC Robotics, my name is Carl, and in today's video we're going to be looking at landing a small scale model of Super Heavy's booster where they're going to catch it out the air with, you know, the landing pad. So if you've been keeping up to date with SpaceX, Starship SN8 and SN9 and Elon Musk on Twitter, then surely you would have known in the last couple of weeks Elon tweeted that eventually in the future Starship's Super Heavy booster will be caught out the air by a robotic arm or by some sort of mechanical, you know, apparatus that's going to catch these rockets out the air so that the flame trench, you never really need a flame trench anymore because the rocket never comes close enough to the ground to send shockwaves back up and damage the rocket. So uh, this is an amazing idea, an amazing feat of engineering if they do pull it off. So my idea was we've already, I've already made a model Starship SN8, I've already made an, a model Starship Falcon 9 booster. Now landing that Falcon 9 booster was very very challenging. So, my idea is I'm going to build uh, a little structure, I think, at a Kinex. I'm going to build a little structure and then see if I can make uh, a super heavy booster out of the same Starship, you know, the same materials that we made the Starship micro version out of, and then see if we can actually pinpoint and land the super heavy booster onto the Kinex structure and see if we can actually shut the, the motors down and get it to sit there just like it would, it's just landed. So if I can pull this off in a small scale down version, then SpaceX and Elon Musk have no problem pulling it off in real life. So let's get to building and let's see if we can actually land a Starship Super Heavy Booster on a little Kinex structure. Guys, we have the completed strong back made from Kinex and we also have our completed super heavy booster. Now, the, the normal super heavy booster actually really does have these oversized grid fins and it looks like that e this idea of catching the uh, super heavy booster onto an actual structure looks like the reason that's why they give it super, uh, you know, oversized grid fins in the first place. So it looks like this has been an idea that Elon has had for a while. So, there's only one lap more thing left to do now. Let's plug this thing in and see if I can get it to land on those little struts. Oh! 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 <laughs> <laughs> Look at that! It caught it! Like, even when I made a mistake, it caught it. Seems like this might be a... Uh, maybe a safer way than the original way we actually land rockets these days. Well, the way we land rockets, the way Elon lands rockets. Let's see if I can get a clean, a nice clean contact. Look at that, that was actually quite easy. So, once I've figured out that you need to sort of, you know, be pushing it forward as well as going down, it just sort of slots in there nicely. And look at that, three grid fins have only caught, one grid fin hasn't, and it's still nice and stable in there. So I think, Elon, if you ever do go to see this, uh, yeah, I think you're onto a winner here, buddy. He's going to have to descend, stop, line up. No, nope. oh. You got enough fuel for this, Elon. You have to stop. 
then go in. <laughs> like it's not even it's not even caught properly and it's still like nice and stable. That's two. So last last time there was three fins. That's two fins that have only caught now and it's still stable. Back up on it. Descending, descending, stop. Line it up. In you go. Slot it in. Or not. Look at that, there's only three fins caught there and it's still nice and stable on the gantry. There you have it guys, it actually does work really successfully and this is with stationary arms. So I imagine SpaceX is going to have moving arms, arms that where the rocket could, you know, come into its position of space here and then the arms could fold in and catch it just like that with its grid fins. Fantastic design. Thank you very much for joining us here at Robotics today guys. If you do like this content don't forget to hit that subscribe button, it is just up there in the corner and if you'd like to see any more of my videos I'll pop one just down here and another just down here. Thank you very much and I'll see you guys very very soon. Bye bye.